I'm Harrison Keeley. Here's what you need to know today. First, more than 100 alumni from Udawa High School are asking for an outside investigation into the alleged rape of a basketball player. Now, the Hamilton County District Attorney's Office says it's investigating whether any misconduct involving the team took place before the recent incident in Gatlinburg. The school board plans to discuss the case on Wednesday. The team is scheduled to play Cleveland at home on Friday night. A Chattanooga man is accused of raping the same woman twice in two years. In 2014, the woman said James Works Jr. kept her in a motel room for several days. During the investigation of that case, she said Detective Carl Fields tried to have sex with her. He was later fired. Now, Works is accused of kidnapping the woman again and raping her multiple times in Fort Oglethorpe. Warrants have been issued for his arrest. The U.S. government is suing Volkswagen over its emissions cheating software. The Justice Department and the EPA have filed suit. VW could face more than $18 billion in fines for clean air violations. The company and its executives may also face criminal charges. The Hunter Museum of American Art is getting rid of free first Sundays. Instead, the permanent collection will be free to view on the first Thursday of the month from 4 to 7.30. The museum is also letting everyone 17 and younger get in free at any time with an accompanying adult. The top leader of the U.S. Marine Corps may visit Chattanooga for Armed Forces Day. Representative Chuck Fleischman invited General Robert Neller to give a keynote address May 6th. This year's event will be the first since a gunman killed four Marines and a Navy specialist last July. A Bradley County Sheriff's deputy was involved in a crash near Olin Chemical Plant last week. Michael Lee's patrol vehicle rolled over in the single vehicle accident in Charleston. He was taken to a hospital emergency room. The Sheriff's Office has not responded to questions about the accident. Lee is Sheriff Eric Watson's brother-in-law. Tennessee's inheritance tax is finally dead. For nearly a century, the estates of people who died in Tennessee were subject to the tax, which could be nearly 10 percent. A new blow-dry salon has opened in Chattanooga. Blowout Company offers professional shampoo and styling services, but no actual cutting. There's also a coffee bar, Italian hair products, and local jewelry. It's open seven days a week near Urban Stack on the south side. A Tennessee lawmaker says the state should get rid of marriage licenses. Representative Rick Womack says Tennessee should revert to being a common law state on marriage after the Supreme Court decision on gay marriage. Womack previously suggested Governor Bill Haslam should be impeached for not fighting the ruling. Tennessee is the first state to release an animal abuse registry. The list will contain the names, photos, and addresses of people convicted of intentionally abusing animals. The TBI is creating the website. First-time offenders will be listed for two years. A second offense makes it five. The Tennessee Vols are hiring Larry Scott as tight ends coach. Scott was most recently interim head coach at Miami. He replaces Mark Elder, who became head coach at Eastern Kentucky last month. Finally, a new store near Hamilton Place Mall lets women sell used clothing for cash on the spot. Style Encore is opening next to Plato's Closet. It typically buys items that have been in stores within the past 18 months. The grand opening is Thursday. Turning to weather, today will be sunny with a high near 44 degrees. Tonight's low will be around 24. That's it for today's news. Thanks for being with us. You can find more on these stories and breaking news at timesrepress.com.